guys, my name's Matt. If you have a kettle grill, let me tell you something that you absolutely have to buy. I mean, here's the thing, you wanna be the alpha male, you wanna be the barbecue king. I have people that comment from Texas to Louisiana talking about my barbecue, but one of the things that you have to have is this. This is a ring that goes on your kettle grill and it's going to make it a rotisserie. And a lot of times we have gas grills with rotisseries, but you're burning up all your propane, especially if you're cooking slow and low for eight to 10 hours. And what are you doing? You're smoking the meat, you're using indirect heat and it comes out absolutely delicious. You can cook rotisserie chickens that blow Sam's Club and Costco's chickens totally to pieces. And how do you do it? Here at the house. We'll start with some royal oak charcoal. an awful lot. Look at that piece. That's a rock. <laughs> look at, look at, look at, look at, look at. That's an absolute rock that was in the bag. That is so wrong because this isn't by volume, it's by weight. Do you know how much this weighs? That's crazy. All right, guys, let's light this up. We're going to let this burn down for a while and then we're going to put our rotisserie together. Look at that. I love watching fire. Such a cool thing, guys. All right, so we're gonna just let that burn down for a couple minutes, probably about 15, 20 minutes. We'll scatter the coals to one side. They're actually on one side, so I think we're gonna be good. And then we're gonna put our big, gigantic roast on there. And we're gonna cook that bad boy slow and low. Guys, here is our roast. We've let it sit for a little bit. We've seasoned it up. It's looking awfully, awfully good. We're gonna slide that in there. It fits right there. And that's, there we go. Look at that, guys. And that's just gonna baste itself. That's the genius behind cooking on a rotisserie. That meat will just turn, I'm, I'm guessing about two hours. A um, little smoke on there, I'm gonna put the hood on there and I'm just gonna let it rise. Right, let's check on this roast, see how we're doing. Oh my, a little wind in there. That is looking perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and see what the temperature is internally in that meat. I want to get it about medium. Some people like medium rare. That's not me. But I tell you what, that is a beautiful sight right there. Guys, the roast is looking so stinking delicious. We're gonna shove that right in the middle and see what our temperature is. I gotta get me, you like that Southern slang? I gotta get my, I need to get uh, one of those probes that actually stays in it the whole time and then talks to your phone. But I tell you what, I'm so impressed with this rotisserie. And right now we are at, ooh, we're almost there. Does that not look stupidly delicious? That will make a grown man cry. <laughs> we are done. I'm gonna shove that in there one more time. I think I'm right where I want it. It's looking really, guys, it's looking delicious. And uh, I just got this rotisserie ring uh, from Amazon and I'm very 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 impressed with it I cannot tell you how impressed I am with this ring you know it came with everything half the price of what it would cost at Weber and it's dead on it's right where I want it so I'm pulling it off and I'll show you in the house what it looks like peace uh, yeah you are welcome to come to my house and have what whatever mystery meat this is guys I don't even look at the meat I just season the meat really really good and then I let it rest and then I put it on and I'll be able to tell after I eat it. And sometimes I'll dig in the garbage can to see what kind of meat it was because if it's like really, really delicious, I'm like, hey, we gotta find out, we gotta buy that meat again. <laughs>